Okay guys, so we are going to recalculate again the uh, compass error by star uh, with the use of scientific calculator and together with the uh, Norris nautical table to counter check the uh, ABC calculation because I have some issue on my uh, previous cal calculation but uh, all are correct so now we will see if this one is correct actually I want to recalculate the uh, previous uh, calculation the star but the problem is when I look again our uh, publication about this electronic uh, nautical publication 2018 um, it's already uninstalled so we are now calculating the uh, 2019 nautical almanac and uh, we will have the subject of Akamar okay so the date is 1 January 2019 and the GMT is 19 30 45 hours minute seconds and our position 23 45.5 north longitude 038 24.4 east and our course is 313 magnetic compass is 309 okay so first we're going to have declination GHA um, increments GHA longitude LHA SHA and LHA okay so first we're going to search in the nautical almanac these details so as you remember the uh, left hand page of the nautical almanac is for the Aris and planets and the right side is for the Sun and Moon so I already highlighted it so it uh, we can uh, I mean calculation is more faster so January 1 1 and 19 hours so this is the 19 so what's the 19 it's uh, 2608 2608.2 declination so we're going to use the Akamar so this is the SHA and declination so declination is south 40 14.1 and the SHA or side radar angle is 315 15.2 increments that's from the last page of the nautical almanac which is I have this one so I already mark it so as you can see Aris so 30 minutes 30 and 45 seconds so 45 seconds 7 42.5 7 42.5 now always plus this two 26 8.2 plus 7 42.5 and the answer is 33 50 points so the 42 you will divide that to 50 42 divided by 60 7 okay next longitude this one bring down here 038 24.4 east so if east plus west minus 33 50.7 plus 38 24.4 the answer is 72 72 15 and 6 divided by 60 is 1 now this one is always plus 72 15.1 315 15.1 15 
15.2 and equals to 387 30.18 divided by 60 is 0.3 so we'll just write it first huh? 387 30.3 now you will subtract that on 360 if you have LHA above 360 you must subtract it to 360 so the LHA is minus 360 so 27 30 point so we have 18 seconds divided by 60 it's 3 now <coughs> excuse me this is the uh, what you call the ABC table A B C okay so so formula so for the, I'll just write it here, A equals to tangent latitude divided by tangent LHA, B tangent declination divided by sine LHA. And for the C, just plus minus minus plus of the A and B. So Z, C times cos lat divided by value equals 1 divided by value inverse tan is equals to Z. Okay, so we calculate the A. A is tangent sorry tangent latitude 23 45.5 divided by tan LHA this is your LHA 27 30.3 oh sorry aha uh -huh. sorry I'm, I'm, I'm in a hurry <laughs> okay game tangent latitude 23 degrees 45.5 divided by tangent LHA 27 degrees 30.3 and you have 0 0.84 0 0.84 so the ruling here on A is label opposite, op opposite to latitude except LHA between 90 to 270 so it's not 90 to 270 so it's opposite so north it north you have north here so you're going to make it south okay D formula tangent declination if you have south put a minus then 40 degrees 14.1 divided by sine LHA you have 1.83 Then, the ruling on B is take the sign of declination. So, declination is south. south. So, same name plus different name minus. Then, take the higher sign of the greatest. So, in here, we have same sign. So, it will be plus. We have 2.67. South. So, bring down that south then for z so the c is charlie 2.67 times cosine latitude 23 45.5 equals so 2.44 remember that 1 divided by 2.44 equals inverse tangent so you have 22.2 then ruling here in Z take sign of C if LHA is LHA is 182 360 if west 0 to 180 so LHA is in between or in the middle of 0 to 180 so it will be west Okay, so correction. We're going to correct the calculator 
from the Norris nautical table. So A. So I already highlighted it. So you can easy to find. This one is for latitude. Ah, sorry. This one is for the LHA. This one for the latitude. So latitude, we have... We have 23. 45. So I'm going to use 23. Then LHA, we have 27.30. So I will use 27.20. Um, this one. So for this ruling, it's not about you will be interpolating it's too small so the point here is you just get the nearest so if you cross that out it will be 0 0.82 so 0 0.84 0 0.82 okay explanation it's not about your calculation will be exact it's okay to be near but if this will be 1.82 that's very very uh, wrong or you have something wrong with the calculator so for this one 0 0.84 and 0 0.82 that is okay next P so in here we have again the declination going down and LHA so 2720 declination is 40 so I already highlighted it. It's 1.83. 1.83. So they are same. So still the same ruling. 2.67. Okay. So this is the table C. We are going to get the value of the Z. So you can see it's 2.67. So I'm going to use the 2.65. So here is 22.4. I have 22.2. So still the same it's not too far but the important is you are near so I have no problem with the calculator and the Norris nautical table all are same now we're going to continue so the true bearing of the Akamar is 202.2 so the gyro bearing is 202 this um you can uh, look at my previous vlog uh, which i get the gps where do i get the true bearing i did gyro bearing where do i get the variation where do i get the declination okay so for the for so how you get the uh two zero two point two so you have two two twenty two point two um plus that to 180 this is uh, the quadrant zero ninety 180 270 so the nearest nearest from this one 202 is to 180 so we're going to plus 2.2 2 plus 180 it's 202.2 .2. so i have that one so gyro error is 0 0.2 is then next is gyro course you have course 313 313 true course if is plus west minus so i have is 313.2 variation our variation in this area is 3.2 is in here i have different kinds of calculation so my ruling here is if is minus west plus but actually it's is plus west minus but my kind of calculation it's reverse so is minus west plus so is we will subtract that to get the me okay 313.2 minus 3.2 it's equals to 310 okay magnetic compass i have magnetic compass is 309 so here the ruling if me is greater than mc it will be east if mc is greater than me it will be west so as you can see me is greater so it will be east and this is always subtract so it's 1.0 is the declination then true course magnetic compass my true course 313.2 magnetic 309 this is always minus 
and if this one MC is greater west this one is greater east so I have this one true course is greater so it will become east compass error 313.2 minus 309 so it's 4.2 the compass error is 4.2 then next true bearing equals to gyro bearing true bearing above 202.2 again east minus west plus so I have east so it will be minus 202.2 minus 4.2198 correction the candid man both wise so I have reverse calculation D V M D C true course is this one 313.2 variation is 3.2 east so still the same reverse east minus west plus 313.2 minus 3.2 310 division 1.0 east same so east is minus 309 so I have the magnetic compass 309 magnetic compass 309 and I have the magnetic compass 309 so everything is correct so, by the way, if you like this vlog, kindly like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook page. The name is The Seaman Vlogger. Okay, that's it. I finished my vlog and I recalculate the vlog 39. All is correct from scientific calculator and the photocopy of the Norris Nautical Table. Thank you very much. See you on my next vlog.